Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Roto Brush number two. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video, if you like it, if you learned something, please be sure to hit like down below. That means so much to me because it helps this channel grow by letting new viewers see it, putting it in recommended suggestions. That would just mean a lot to me. Thanks and let's do it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need to do is actually download After Effects Beta. So Roto Brush V2 is not in the full After Effects yet, but it's super easy. You just open up Creative Cloud, go down here to Beta Apps, just go right here, hit Install. So as you can see, this looks just like regular After Effects and you can open regular After Effects files in here, which is super convenient because I'll really just work in After Effects and then when I need to use the Roto Brush tool, I'll come and open in an After Effects beta. So first thing we're gonna do is choose our shot and as you can see, I've already chosen mine. Step two is to get some text in here. So let's go up here, we'll type black cherry. So next step is we need to duplicate our shot and then we need to put the text layer in between the two shots that we have. So these are the same exact shot, but this one is the one that we're going to isolate the can and the cherries. And just to be organized, we'll go ahead and rename these to top and bottom. So what you wanna do next is double click on your top shot and that is gonna open it in the layer panel as opposed to where we usually work in the composition panel. And then we wanna come up here and click on the Roto Brush tool. Next, click anywhere on your subject and then hit undo. The reason I do that is because it just puts the Roto Brush effect on my clip and then I can come up here and change it from standard to best because we want the best. And as you can see, it's already on version 2.0, not 1.0, classic, more like garbage. There's also some other tools down here that we can adjust, but I like to save that until a little bit later, so we'll get there. Before we get started actually roto brushing, two things. One, you can hold control and then slide left to right to change the size of your roto brush, and you can also hold alt and it gives you like the negative roto brush so you can remove parts of the mask that you've created. One massive tip is make sure that you are on your first frame that you want it to be roto brushed out because you need to start at the very beginning. Okay, and now we get to the fun stuff. I'm gonna make this thing smaller and we're just gonna draw in the shape of this can to get a rough roto brush going. And from everything I've heard, you really wanna spend a lot of time, the most time on your very first frame. I'm assuming because that helps your computer analyze the rest of the frames based off this first frame. If your first frame is not necessarily perfect depending on where you're doing, but pretty spot on, then all the rest of these frames that your computer is gonna analyze will be way better. So spend a lot of time on the first frame, which is what we'll do right here. So next step, once you've got it to a place you think is pretty solid, then what I like to do is just go frame by frame so that we can watch it, see if it messes up, and if it does mess up, we'll stop right there and we'll fix it as we go. The way you do that is hold control and then just hit it on the arrow key and go to the next frame. And there is a way, you can actually just come down here and click freeze and it will render out like the rest of your clip but i like to do it this way so that i can make corrections as i go like here's one thing maybe that i'll go in and fix and again this is why i like to go frame by frame i caught that this frame that chair is good this next frame the cherry is not good mostly because of this bubble so we'll just go in here click on it and there we go and we'll keep going oh 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 Okay, so once I feel good about that, I'll just come over here and maybe throw a little bit of feather on it, a little bit of shift edge, and I think that looks pretty sick. And we can even zoom in. I mean, that's dang good. I'm a little surprised at like just how nicely it is right there on that edge because I mean, shoot, I'm hype on that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you can take it and use it in some way. If you enjoyed it, if you liked it, again, please hit like down below. Helps me out a ton. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe down below. Click the bell so you get notified every time I upload. And like I said, if you wanna check out this full White Claw video and a lot of behind the scenes breakdown of how I did it, you can click right here. If you wanna see whatever video YouTube puts right here, you can click right there and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. We did it! You can line it up, bump, bump.